Hi, I'm going to do an oracle reading for the month of May to see what the energies are telling us at this time while we're still in lockdown. A um, lot of changes happening. And um, although there's a lot of bad things going on out there, there's a lot of good things coming from this. I've spoken to quite a few people who have new inspiration, new ideas, new ways of actually even operating their business that have come from this lockdown. Um, a lot of people really being able to tune in, which is, I think, the purpose of a lot of this, to tune in to like what they really want, you know, what's really important to them, um, maybe some new changes they want to make in their life. So you might be experiencing that. I'm sure you are. And uh, well, we'll see what these cards say. I actually did this Oracle reading yesterday and somehow I didn't push record on my camera, which is kind of silly, um, but who knows? This think there's a purpose for all things but I did write down at least the first three cards that came up before I realized I wasn't recording <laughs> we'll see if some of those cards come up again today um, so let's just see I, actually I'm gonna throw my my cube you know I have this cube these cubes I make and oh actually I don't want to look at it right I'm gonna flip it onto <gasps> okay good peace that's exactly the one I got yesterday so I don't know maybe we'll get the same cards maybe we won't but they did tie into peace. And I think um, this whole craziness that's going on is in some way bringing more peace to the world. Yes. So let's see what the cards wanna say about that. I kind of already shuffled them. I'll just do a quick little once over for each deck and then I'll just split and pull. And let's see. Okay, Angel of Strength only it came in the reverse. So there's the Angel of Strength. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, number 50. So let me go to that one. That is not the card that came up yesterday. Okay, 50. And as always, I like to read the, the what the deck has to say because, you know, I might... I'm going to pick up on it how I pick up on it, but really you are the creator of your reality. And so these words might mean something different to you. But what we have here is personal power and inner strength. Only it was in the reverse, right? So reversed, it says this card reverse indicates that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power. Perhaps you're even seeing yourself as weak or in inferior um, or ineffectual. The situation you find yourself in may seem overwhelming, but you absolutely do have the strength to see it through and to succeed and come to a successful outcome. Don't fall into any old patterns of giving your power away. When you let others define you and make decisions on your behalf, you take yourself out of the picture and out of your own destiny, your, your own destiny creation. So meditate on the brilliant vibrating light of this angel and recall the eternal power that surges through your life. It's time to take back control. So yeah, I could see that speaking to everything that's happening right now with this virus because you could lose, you could give your power away by buying into all the fear that's out there. I mean, this virus from sources I've been listening to and quite a few are saying it, really has a less than 1% um, death rate. I mean, it's really, even though there's a lot of tragedy happening, I don't want to lessen those who are so severely affected by this, but as far as the whole society goes, it's, it's not even as dangerous as the normal flu that we experience. So don't give your power away to the fear of those people who want to make this thing seem even bigger than it is, that your life is over. It's not. This is actually a brand new beginning. There are going to be changes coming because it's this ascension. It's part of the ascension process. And this was a really good time, number one, to have people come back to themselves, quiet down, even if they're not, in the spiritual sense, finding their way back to their inner selves. They are quieting down, which gives them maybe more time, if you're not buying into the fear, to reflect on what's important to you and what it is that you want to do in your life and you may even find that as when things slow down that's things st other things start coming your way 
because now you have the time to notice them. I mean, there's so many good things that could be happening right now from this. Um, I have a few things that are happening for me where this has actually been pretty much a blessing to kind of stop some other things that were in motion to kind of sort through it and figure it out in an easier way, in a way that's more connected to my truth without getting caught up in, of course, subconscious programming, fear that's out there. It's like really a time to just settle down, go within, do things that you enjoy, spend more time doing things that you enjoy because many of you are just too busy to do those things and you put it off. Don't put yourself off. Maybe that's a big message here too, especially, especially when you're thinking about that you might get sick. Well, you know what? Then you need to take care of yourself. You need to fuel your body well, move your body well, take care of yourself so that bugs like this virus won't make it into your system. Um, okay, so let's see what this one says. The next one I'm using is Trust Your Vibes. And we get Get Grounded. All right, Get Grounded. Number two. Let's see what that one wants to tell us. And I love Sonia Choquette. <laughs> she has this great video. Maybe I'll, I'll see if I can link it below. I'll find it of her going through her busy morning and all these different things that are happening where there's this angel. She supposedly can't see it, right? This angel is there and like catching the keys when they fall or, you know, just making things flow so easily for her. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know why that came up. Okay, so get grounded. Uh, because our bodies follow natural spiritual law, re we require a solid connection with Mother Earth to function at our highest intuitive potential. This connection is called being grounded. It is accomplished by simply being aware of your body, of the present moment, of your breath, and being connected to the Earth. Now, when you're busy in your everyday hustle and bustle, most times you're not grounded. So, again, this shutdown is allowing people to to be to get more grounded um, being grounded is basic to six sensory living and tuning into your higher vibrations if you draw this card you're not if you draw this card you're not fully grounded at this time and your psychic awareness systems aren't working properly stop whatever you're doing and do something physical such as taking a few stretches um, bending um, taking a step further, going outside for a few minutes, feeling the earth underneath your feet, and uh, remembering that as long as you're alive, you are supported by Divine Mother Earth at all times, at all times, always. We're always connected to the earth. But when you don't have the awareness of that or how easily it is to do that, you could get caught up in the being too stuck in your head and too, too much in your mind, which is taking you away from being just in your full body connected to the earth, which can really bring in more of this peace energy. And it does help you to feel secure. No matter what's going on around you, you can stop at any moment, connect to the earth, you know, go out, touch plants, trees, barefoot feel the grass under your feet just stand there on dirt on rocks holding rocks crystals right i've got i've been using this one lately um yeah get really connected to the earth this i mean this is the this is where we live right on planet earth so really start to develop a stronger connection between you and the earth uh what else does it say here take a walk breathe in the air it will ground you it'll calm you and heal you it'll empower you and it'll reconnect you to your higher awareness and your vibes your inner knowing your intuition um so so yeah that's a, that's that plays right into the whole thing with us having to be quarantined at this time because uh, we can really get back it's like getting back to basics the basic is we walk the earth right <laughs> And you can feel that power come up from the earth. Like I like to draw in the energy from the heavens and draw up the energy from the earth and allow those two energies to just flow through my system, balancing, harmonizing my chakras. I mean, you call the shots, you are the creator. So you can create any scenario you want. 
Because after all, isn't this whole entire life just one big matrix, one big virtual reality? Maybe it's, you know, one big um, lucid dream. And so, you know, when you quiet down, like now maybe you have more time to sleep because the, the more sleep you get, the more you get to, you remember your dreams and your dreams will tell you things. You know, you can get quiet and you can ask your higher self to speak to you. And you'll, you'll be surprised. You'll hear messages. They don't have to make any sense at all. In fact, they most of the times won't make any sense. If you start to have it make sense, it's probably your mind and not your higher self. So it's a fine line. You have to play with it. The more you do it, the easier it gets for you to acknowledge or to notice what voice is coming from your mind or coming from your higher knowing. Um, okay, so let's see what the... Enchanted map wants us wizards of awareness. Okay, so we're just talking about awareness and it is um, number three. I mean, this is we're going through an awakening. We're all going to become we're all becoming more psychic. Everybody has psychic abilities and everyone can tune into their higher self. It's just a thought that makes you think that you can't do it because it's natural to you. It's second nature to you. So it's just a matter of remembering this about yourself. And what better time to get more connected to that than when you're made to, in most people's case, stay home, you know, during this uh, quarantine. Okay, so number three in the upright position, and it wants to tell us, um, your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Right. So in that stillness, in that connection to the earth, you can hear your higher self, your soul. You know, a lot of people are receiving messages that are telling them to go off in another direction or to include something else in what they do or to completely, you know, change their whole entire schedule, their whole flow of their day to include more things that are, are very basic Nature, like being grounded, taking time to go within, making that connection to your uh, soul, your higher self, and tuning more into your inner knowing. Okay, so it says mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This implies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside yourself, Stepping into an observer position gives you a new perspective, a powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. So that's actually you deciding to observe yourself, to observe your thoughts, right? Being mindful of what's what programs are running within you, looking at it from an outside perspective. Um, I would say a, a, a great way to do that is to imagine you're looking at your younger you, your, your two-year-old you, your inner child. Look at that part of you, what it's thinking from this outside perspective as if it's a young child because you don't condemn a young child and, you know, make them wrong. You usually try to teach them. You teach that two-year-old something or you guide them in some way that is gentle and hopefully in most cases right um with love and compassion so it's like stepping outside of yourself being that love and compassion without judgment looking at whatever it is that's coming up for you to be seen and um from that outside perspective of yourself it's more like you can join in with those higher aspects of you your higher self your soul and you'll be surprised at the inspiration that can come through by just being the observer. Now, I don't know if that's what this card was really wanting to say, but that's the message that I'm hearing to give to you. So it says, wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adapt, to adopt a sense of nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and people go. Experiences evolve from one state to another and continually shift and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same. Nothing ever stays the same. Energy is constant motion. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or to limit what you're experiencing now. 
it's all good. It's a good message, right? There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, but it's all good. There are a lot of things happening that are truly for our higher self. There's going to be huge changes coming up with this ascension and um, moving into a whole new way of being, a whole new world. Really owning your psychic abilities, you know? But I won't, I won't speak to all of that right now. Anyway, it says, let it be and watch the miracles unfold without any direct influence from you. Yeah, so that's really allowing spirit to come in. Just by being, just by allowing yourself to be the observer of all this stuff that's going on in your head. Because, you know, if it was a friend of yours coming to you with all this stuff that might be troubling you, you would look at them as an observer, because you are, and you would probably be more connected to inspiration ideas that could help that person. So it's kind of, that's what you're doing. You're going, as if you're going exterior to yourself, looking at whatever these situations are, or these thoughts that are going on, this pattern, or whatever it might be. But looking at it from an objective observer and allowing what inspiration wants to come through to that aspect of you, so that you can bring that in to this reality space, right? This, this present time in the physical world space. But you're going to be doing that from your external world. <laughs> from the bigger part of you, the spirit that is you. Okay, let's see what this card is. It says the answer is simple. Look forward. Yeah, look forward. Look forward to all the good that you want in your life, that you desire. All those things that really light you up. Like I've been starting to just play with artwork again, right? Put this up here in case it came up and it did come up you know i just i'm just like taking time now to do things that i don't always give myself time to do and i'm enjoying it okay so look forward number 41 this might be a perfect card for this month of march so it says the ego looks backward and wallows in regret the spirit looks forward in excitement and wonder the ego look um looks down and sees few options. The spirit looks up and perceives endless possibilities. Ties right into that last card. Um, the, the ego looks for problems and views itself as a victim. The spirit seeks out solutions and sees itself as a genius. So if when you can go within, you can be that observer. You can really expand you know, like with meditations, you can feel your energy expand out to where your energy is so big. It's like now your body is within your spirit instead of your spirit within your body. I, I heard it said that way by um, a woman that I know through Access Consciousness, and it was so perfect. I'm like, oh my God, I do that all the time. I expand my energy out, but I wasn't really thinking of now my body is in my spirit. Because <laughs> normally we talk about how our body is our vehicle and our spirit is wearing, is in our body, right? It's wearing the body. Well, now my body, when you expand your energy out, is wearing the spirit. Like you are in your fullness. That's why it's so good to do some sort of meditation or even painting. It allows you to expand your energy out, to not be stuck in the limitless mind, limit the limited mind, the limitless, endless supply of nonsense programs and thoughts that hold you back right we want to free ourselves free yourself to be yourself so the spirit wants you to look up and behold your wonderful life ahead the past is over and there's only learning to gain from it the future isn't yet decided and is open to becoming whatever you desire because you are the creator there's my magic wand you you are the creator yep you i was pointing at me in the camera Ah, just for fun. Okay, so look with optimism and enthusiasm at the wonderful possibilities that lie ahead. There's nothing blocking you except the ego habit of limiting your own view. Glance up and you'll see doors opening to you. You're free from the past, so don't look back anymore. Peer ahead with the light heart of your spirit. You'll be delighted by what you see. Yeah, so that's, I feel like that's what this whole coronavirus is doing for us. It's a, it's a chance now to just put everything that is from before behind you. I mean, even the good stuff, it's all like behind you because you're here right now in the present. What do you want to do from here? Let your imagination run wild. Don't give your power away to 
media or relatives who call who are stuck in fear. You don't have to be stuck in fear because others are. You can be in joy. You can connect to that energy of peace, your true nature that is within you, that knows everything always works out well. When you can hold even that as a, as a mantra, everything always works out well for me. And really have that subconscious mind take on that program. Everything always works out well for me. Then you don't have to worry about anything. Because <laughs> as things arise <clears throat> that maybe hit you over the head and you're like, oh my God. Remember, well, wait, hold on. Everything else works out well for me. Then maybe you can think, oh, so what thing, what, how can I make this go in my favor? What things can I do? Like write stuff down on a piece of paper. Let your, let your eyes like to do butterfly hands, right? So you know, there's always nine possibilities. Those four fingers, these two together, and these four, it's nine possibilities. When you start saying like, coming up with things that could be, by the time you get to the third or the fourth, you start making up all this silly fantasy stuff, which lifts your vibration. And um, <clears throat> there's something happening to my throat. So, so let's just do a clearing for that. <clears throat> let's do a clearing for you to clear all those energetic cords, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical cords to all of the times when you were, when you were made, when you were forced to quiet your voice, when you were made to squash your own ideas, to all of those times, that all of the people who squashed you, all of those people who told you it couldn't be, who made you feel less. Let's release all of those energetic, mental, emotional cords, letting them go, slicing them, dicing them. <laughs> And so it is. Okay, that feels a little bit better. Okay, so let's also um, put that in another way. Let's let's release all the energetic, mental, emotional cords to all of the times when you um, stifled your voice, when you blocked your own creativity, when you didn't allow yourself to just shine and express and be the soul that you are and to all of those people who didn't allow you to share your voice to be that creative being that you are yeah let's cut all those energetic ties to all of that just letting it go and so it is okay but there's still something there so let's see what else there is let me just ask spirit Oh, okay, we want to cut all the vows, oaths, and decisions you've ever made that make you and cause you to silence your inner voice. There it is. Silence your inner voice. All those vows, oaths, and decisions that have caused that, that you have made to quiet your inner voice. We now uncreate and destroy all of that, just releasing all of it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. I felt a whole lot better. Wow. And let's just download ourselves now, all of us. Everyone that's watching this video, download yourself now with what it feels like in every single cell of your body to express yourself freely, to share your ideas with the world, to be that light that you are and allow the light that you are to help others and heal others as well. Yeah, all right, Woo! I like that. So um, I guess a lot of people needed to hear that. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to be able to do that clearing because spirit will tell you, listen, this, these messages are great. There's something more, there's something more you didn't pick up on and this is it. And then <laughs> I get something in my throat and, and then I have to figure it out. So that was fun. I'll see you on another video. Please like, share, subscribe. You know what? It's coming back. It's coming back. So there's something else. <clears throat> Let me just think. Let me ask. Let me not think and just ask.
Yeah. Okay. So so let's just also at this time un release, uncreate, and destroy all of these energetic, mental, emotional cords to all of the fear and worry that's come up around this whole experience with the coronavirus. Yeah. And allow ourselves to, so we're just going to let that go, right? Let that go. So it is. And we're going to allow ourselves now to, let's download for us what it would feel like to really allow ourselves to go with this flow, to express and open to the many possibilities that are ahead, that are actually going to be springing up through this time of this lockdown and this coronavirus. There's a lot of cool stuff happening with the Ascension right now. So let's put our attention on that. Yeah, this feels good. Now it feels really good. Ah, good. <laughs> I'm happy about that. So I'll see you in another video. Bye.